smaller. Oh, yes you are. You got nuts, huh? Hello and welcome back to the Poker Central YouTube channel. I am joined by the Event 1 champion of the 2019 US Poker Open and that is the reigning US Poker Open champion, Stephen Shitwick. First of all, congratulations with a win. Does it ever get old? Uh, hasn't yet. I'll let you know if it does. <laughs> so he wins it once again, the also leader in the clubhouse for the overall championship, but I brought him here for Run It Back with Remco as we're going to talk about the crucial hand of this final table. Uh, Stevie, you flopped the nuts straight, you got it all in, but please start at the beginning and take me through your thought process. Uh, yeah, so the button limps and Sean was very short in the big blind and think he had maybe seven big blinds or something. Uh, I have 10-9 suited in the small blind, which is obviously a hand that I'm gonna play. Um, I think raising and just calling are both fine, uh, but I think I have a hand that isn't too sad when Sean wakes up with a ace-queen or something, and I have a decent chance against him, and uh, didn't wanna really let, let him see a flop for free with a short stack. Um, so I raise, uh, I think, four times the big blind. The button limp raises, uh, quite small. I uh, wasn't, wasn't too happy to see it, especially with a short stack at the table, but I don't think I can fold at this point given uh, just the odds I'm getting and how good my hand is. Yeah, and Ali was saying on the commentary as well, you know, the price just seemed too good, the raise seemed too small for you to really fold. Um, at that point, are you calling with specific intentions or is it all very flop dependent? Uh, it's pretty board dependent. Um, I'm in generally not going to be trying to put too much money in without uh, a decent hand, given the stacks at the table. Uh, but yeah, I was just calling, hoping he was bluffing uh, pre-flop and I could get to show them cheapish if I hit, hit a pair or obviously I hit the dream flop and uh, that, was, that was plan A, I guess. <laughs> You called so quickly, obviously you made the nuts, that was a terrific hand, uh, that was the hand that basically propels you to the win. From that point onward though, you had a massive, massive stack, is it then about sort of coasting to get the heads up or do you want to keep applying pressure? Uh, I'm going to try and accumulate chips when I can. Um, so yeah, I want to apply pressure but kind of not, not overdo it to the point where people are going to start playing back very wide. Um, so it was, uh, I was trying to just have a gradual ascent to, to the top, which uh, it was going well for a bit and then hit some bumps, but got him back again. Well, he pulled it off once again, the third title for Stephen Shitwick in the US Poker Open. And you guys stay tuned for much more right here on Poker Central.